Welcome uh, to the final uh, matches um, of this league, of this tournament uh, in the BBIL2. Um, the news in the middle is Donald Dynamite versus Night Watchman. Donald Dynamite won the toss and elected to bat first. They're looking to post a huge total today because of the um, net run rate issue. Um, I, it'll be very hard for them to come through. We've got, uh, with me, uh, to my left, is uh, Mozam Katana and also Hamza Hussein. Thank you very much, Mazabai. Uh, a fascinating contest on our hands here. There was no doubt that Donald Dynamite, if they'd won the toss, which they did, would elect to bat. Uh, they need a huge win here to have any chance at all of uh, making it to the final four. Uh, we have Hamza Hussain on my left scoring. Welcome Hamza. I don't think the crowd could hear you there. It's already loud here. So, your garage in and straight away off the mark. A nice punch off the back foot through the covers from Arsalan Tariq. That Arsenal, sorry to interrupt there, Mozum Katana. Uh, Arsenal Tariq has put up the order, so he's opening the batting, taking a bit of responsibility for the Don Dynamite. Uh, so they missed out there. Surprising call from uh, Nice Watchman opening with the uh, Yodrag Forte. Yeah, I think uh, their bowling changes here will be a lot different from what we've seen throughout the last matches. They are indeed today. Okay, that's a wide down the leg side, so making up for that last delivery where it was a dot ball for the Donald Dynamites. Uh, two runs of two deliveries now. So Manip Katana not playing. I heard that he's resting or hearing different news in fact. Uh, to say he's injured or he's wrestling for the final or the semi-final. I did get some exclusive news from uh, the former captain of Yusuf Ali and he did say that they are wrestling uh, Muneeb Khatana. Muneeb Khatana has had a, um, a fantastic um, indoor tournament this year. Short delivery on the legs. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, he's had a fantastic uh, tournament. I remember the four wickets against uh, the hit and run team was his highlight uh, of the tournament. He has been um, taking a couple of wickets. Yeah, definitely. Game. Uh, quite that, a rush shot there, a bit that, early on that shot that in fact. That tells you, Mudan it's not all about pace in here. I mean, we're going to put it, uh, all due no, uh, disrespect to him, he's not gifted with pace, but his line and length is there. Absolutely, he's very consistent, knows where to pitch it. Uh, I mean, no, that bat's not made a very nice nose at all. Uh, so that's ended the over there, and I believe it's three for none after the first over. And coming back to what you were saying regarding Muneeb, in fact, there's another youngster now, Kazam Hussain, who's taken the ball. Both youngsters have been absolutely impressive. Uh, I think the main thing about them is the maturity they've shown and the responsibility to get their team over the line in many games, in fact. Uh, Kazam's ball is off, but it's all good shot. Met that right in the middle of the back. And he's uh, open with him is Adil Hassan. Now, Adil Hassan is very unorthodox. You'll see him moving about in the crease. And about and he's moved about a bit too much and uh, in fact his head was all over the place there. Oh, the commentators curse there, commentators curse. Definitely. Fantastic well, delivery but you, you're right in what you were saying Mother Khatana. I mean the youngsters in Kazam Hussain and uh, Munib Khatana have impressed. So I, I, it could have been a decision on pick, picking one and wrestling the other and giving the, the opportunity in the knockout stage. Absolutely. I mean when it comes to wrestling you've got to say uh, the captain Arsalan Khalid, a very selfless character in wrestling himself and then the team to actually win without him last week was phenomenal. Uh, so it shows that if he can drop himself, anyone in that team, or rest himself rather, anyone in that team uh, can be rested for that matter. New is it? Um, uh, it is a Munir Chaudhary. He's bowling from where he left the week before that, in fact, and he's doing this so consistently. Good shot. So it's a good ball again. I think uh, Kazam, like I say about the responsibility and maturity, I don't think he's letting it get to his head that he doesn't, he's not the fastest bowler. A lot of youngsters will try to prove their point by trying to come in and run in, but he's just sticking to his, his strength. With the off consistent, absolutely brilliant. This Definitely. is. I mean, let's not let's not forget. I don't think they've got enough credit here. Since Asar Salan has taken the captaincy of Nice Watchmen, they have, they have played differently. I mean, they have won nearly every game uh, under uh, Arsenal uh, uh, Khalid, um, and he's taken responsibility. Look him in the middle now. Got the ball in his hands. He's telling the players what to do. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So we've not given enough credit in the commentary. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, there's a big difference from what it was in the first two or three games when uh, possibly Yusuf Ali was captain, where there was everyone, every man in the middle was captain. Now Arsalan has some authority, stamping the authority, ringing in the changes at will. 
Of course, he's uh, consulting with the senior uh, members of the team where you've got your Graj Kota and Yusuf Ali, yeah. but he's still there Definitely. making a decision. Yeah, End of the second over, four for one, a brilliant over there, a wicket and a run only conceded from Kazim Hussain. So, your Graj to Arsalan. Oh! I mean, that's very surprising from uh, Yusuf. He's a fantastic keeper, Yusuf. Let's not forget, since Yusuf has let the competency go, his uh, his uh, performance, individual performance has stayed the same. He's always OP, he's always pushing the fielders, and uh, he's always aggressive. So his performance, he's not let his performance Oh, he's change. getting beat by this, he's getting beat by this a few times. Uh, definitely, I think, uh, in fact, the burden of uh, captaincy being relieved from his shoulders, in fact, has allowed him to even, you know, stand for a bit more authority yeah, to the team uh, and compose himself because he's a character who can get out of control at times. But it's brilliant for the spirit of the team, boosting the morale. Oh, that's a good shot. That's fine. We've all day there. We've gone for the overthrow. Good backing up there from Venu Reddy. I mean, uh, coming back to this game, uh, Mozam, obviously it's the last game of the um, of the group stages, uh, if you can call it. I mean, Donald Dynamax, I know they've lost the wicket, but they need to show um, aggression because they, they can't get through on just a win. They need to win by a break and then also um, they're, they're relying on other results uh, uh, as well. So they have to post over 100 runs. They have to go out all guns blazing, that's it, definitely. All guns blazing for the team here. Otherwise, there's no point. Uh, if they're just looking for a win, I don't know. If it's uh, for pride, I'm, not, I'm sure they're looking to uh, pose a big score, but the way it's going at the moment. Oh, I think both of them are bowling the same here. Kazim Hussain and your guard bowling them putters, in fact. None of them uh, displaying immaculate pace by any means, but just sticking to yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. They're very accurate. I mean, bringing the ball into you as well is, I think, it's harder for you to uh, get away. Oh, look at this. It is another Jaffa. That is a brilliant way to end the over. End of the over, nine for one after three. Just to uh, pick your brains there, uh, Mozam, what would you do in this situation? So they're both bowling really well. Would you bowl them out at this situation or would you, as a captain, um, give it a bit of a change? I'd certainly bowl them out at the moment. You've got Yusuf Ali. I will not bowl them out. I'd probably bowl you Raj out, see how Kazim's over goes here. You've still got Yusuf Ali. Oh, he's this is fantastic and this is exactly why I'd say ball them out. This is fantastic bowling. The batsman been beaten on that shot three or four times in fact. And again, he's played the same shot rather than moving across and just knocking it for a single onto the leg side. Fantastic, so in walks a Jawad Akhtar and uh, the square leg umpire Jamil Ali doing his business there, sorting out the bales. You don't see that from many umpires in fact. They just sit there a backside on the chair comfortable. Uh, but he's actually made an effort there to get up. So. Uh, Credit to him. Credit to Jimmy. He's always uh, here early and uh, always umpiring, always uh, contributing. Just coming back to this, uh, I totally agree with you. I would always ball him out as a, if I was captain because I always think um, attacking is the best way. Oh, that's the only ball so far from this angle that I've seen. Uh, Kazam Hussain, which is straight down leg side. I don't think he's straight any other ones. And I think he's probably getting a bit too. Again, he's straight again. There's a little good running, good running. I don't, I don't, there is no need at all for Cousin to change anything he was doing. Was I think he's close. going for the Yorker. It was close, but again, it's a freebie really down the leg side. It's a full delivery. It was more or less a full toss that in fact, and it's easy pickings for the batsman, especially a new batsman. Look at that. That's exactly oh, what that's that's edge. That's what he's got to do. So why is he changing it to the new batsman? If you're troubling any other batsman and a batsman of quality of Arsalan Tariq, in fact, you'll trouble any batsman if you're troubling him. Really good youngster. It's definitely a run there, but then again, like they say, anything behind the square is the non-striker's call. It looks it like the non-striker's put some weight on as well. He's not looking any interest at all. I think he's very inexperienced, this kid. I think he's only his second game in the tournament, yeah. so that can play a effect. But indoor cricket, it's all about winning this. If you don't take the risk, then uh, it can go against you. This is fantastic. So over here, the score is a 13 for two after four overs. They've definitely got to pick, the, pick up the ante here and uh, get on with it. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if they're looking to post over 100 runs up uh, at this rate, they're not going to get past 50 to get 100. Yeah, and then uh, regardless of whether nice watchmen take their time to score the runs or even if they lose, uh, they'll still make it to the final four. So really, like we say, if there's anyone to uh, put some impetus into the performance out of these two teams, and most desperate it would be the Donald Dynamites.
But I think the way they're batting at the moment, they're just showing Pakistan and uh, displaying the the uh, type of game Pakistan needed today to survive against New Zealand. Absolute shambles of work Pakistan today. So it's power play taken here. They, they need to take a risk now, Mojo. No, no, I mean, they, they need, they need um, over 100. I mean, yeah. like I said, we're giving these figures out, but obviously it could it could be that they score 100, ball them out for 10 and not good feeling there, good feeling there from the captain. Uh, I was just going to say, I mean, they've moved Kazim Hussain a little bit deeper, more towards the uh, mid-on area, covering that boundary. So Yusuf Ali is not in fact... Oh, good shot there. So Yusuf Ali deciding to go with both boundary riders. In fact, now he's leaving the leg side vacant, is he? This is aggression now. I thought he'd leave it vacant just as the Donald Dynamites had left it for Hamza Hussain when he cracked them four boundaries of four consecutive deliveries. That's, oh, he's left it. Mm. Is it being given? No, no, it wasn't a wide. It's not being given. It was inside the corner. That's fine. So Yusuf Ali born on the off stop. Full pass there. Oh, it's an extra. It's an extra. It's chaos in the middle. They had no idea, no communication, as if they're both from different countries speaking different languages. In fact, they are the Bangladeshi and the Pakistani batting. Shouldn't be too much <laughs> problems there. Oh, Look, they're leaving it. What are they doing? I, mean, I think they're definitely the showing. Play. Yeah, I think they're definitely showing Safra's arm and exactly what they had to do. By the looks of it, they're just leaving the ball. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. That, that, that's how you should be played in the power play. Um, hit it into the vacant area and, and just and just get your skates on. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. So 21 for two after five overs. But then again, Mazabai, I mean, if you've got the if you've got four wickets in hand and the field is on the offside are close in, the two deliveries that they'd both batsmen had left outside the off storm, would you not have told them to attack to do anything to the outside yeah, just attack? I mean the thing is the situation is more than obviously if they're chasing 30 40 runs and they need just a win, okay, leave the deliveries. Yeah, yeah, the situation of, of the Donald Dynamites is that they need a huge yeah, score. I definitely and then they need to bowl them out quickly and they also need to rely on another run. So at the moment I don't know the tactics, so yeah. I'm I can't really. Yeah, yeah of, course, of course. I think this is the right move, in fact. Kazim Hussain generally brings the ball back in, cuts it in, so he's left that gap vacant again. This is God, this is God. This is mine from the youngster. It, it, it's, it's fine for the batsman, I mean, it's two rungs, but it's not enough. It's not I mean, enough, it's definitely not enough. They need to show up. They need then to again, the boundaries now. It's Kazim Hussain's last five legal deliveries here, so let's see what happens. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. So that's why you can't afford to leave the leg side boundary vacant because. Kazam does bring it in here. Very rarely, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen Kazam take the ball away from the right hand of the back side. Ooh, what's up from here? He's a few I think the players out there need to know they are not insured by any company or any authorities here. So uh, I think you've got, got, the, got the score wrong there. It's not football we're playing, we're playing cricket here. It's definitely not ice hockey either. Oh, look. Oh, 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 yeah, just to remind and um, possibly the uh, committee members need to make it a bit more clear that any accident here, you're at, oh, Kazim Hussain interrupted me there, but quite clever there from the instructor. Any accidents, any slips here is at your own risk. We've also had some, some news come through the, um, to the committee members and that after, uh, I don't Board know. Shot. A soft dismissal, very there. soft. In fact, yeah, we would say it's a no break. aggression showed from this batsman. I mean, the, I the they, fielder didn't need to do anything yeah, there. I mean, for Al Salon, that's a uh, bread and butter. But I think they reversed the batting order. I mean, they, they brought another tail ender in. This one, uh, he really makes me laugh. This Teddy does as he walks on, saluting the, the Bangladeshi captain. We can see he's always happy, he's always, he's always in he a good happy, mood. He's, he's always happy. smiling. Look here, he's rolling them up. Oh, he means business today. I mean, uh, Waka Ashad uh, last week gifting him a full toss just to uh, hit through the line. Uh, in fact, showing the full face of the bat and getting a four down the ground. Uh, it didn't last very long, but yeah. Oh, he's going for the Lagarde stance. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, full face, full face to the heart, Sean. And that's the end of a brilliant spell from Kazim Hussain. And that's three overs from him, ten runs, three wickets, magnificent that's performance. Fantastic, fantastic, and it? guess what? If they're told they're gonna up the ante in the end overs, you've got Yusuf Ali to deal with so again. If, if, if they do win um, the Knights Watchman, which is looking uh, very likely at the moment, looking at the score, 
Um, he will be a man of much contention. I mean, he will be in, in contention for that man. But I think, yeah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it should be decided at the moment. Because anything can happen at the moment. I think. I think. Anything happens from here, Night Watch will win this game. As I'm saying, should be the man. He's got him into this position. Whatever happens from here, it should be irrelevant. I mean, really. well, it could be a situation of uh, uh, three, four, four, and obviously a batsman uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. does score um, valuable 30 for to run. So, yeah, I mean, I think it, it more than likely, yeah. It's yeah, definitely, like I agree with you, but it shouldn't come to that oh, stage oh, where, oh. where the team now, I mean, it's for the batsman to actually recognize the efforts of yeah, Kazuma yeah, saying yeah, to get him into this position. Now, if the batsmen are reckless, or to give their team a, a position where they're three for three, then uh, it's. Oh, oh, I mean, this is. The, bats, the, the batsman there could tell the umpire that he couldn't see where he's coming in from. He was absolutely behind the man there on the boundary. So you couldn't see him running in. Now it's fine. I mean, he's coming a little bit closer, a bit more to uh, I don't know what he's appealing for there. Sorry. He's got the run up of uh, the um, Angus Fraser for uh, when he used to play for England. Angus Fraser. I mean, we, I went about them times, um, Mazabai. I'm not sure about yourself. No, no, I, I was about. I weren't even in my nappies then. I don't think there were any plans of having him. Fantastic bowler uh, was Angus Fraser, especially with the red cherry. Is he that fat bloke who comes on Sky Sports? He, he's now? a bit fat now. <laughs> Put a bit of uh, timber. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Angus. I like, I like the way he speaks, very professional man, talks the truth, uh, as opposed to Charles, who just talk, just talk yeah. from the uh, backside a little bit, but um, anyways, uh, 28 for 3 after 7 overs. I'm, I'm hearing news uh, that there might be a verdict being introduced on next uh, season, so a verdict after every week as well. <laughs> Famous could be, could be, Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rumours going on. There's also um, some news come out mid um, midweek from the committee members about the top 14 players being um, being involved. I mean, I don't know how this top 14 works. Does it work on player rankings? Does it work on batsmen? I think it'll be. I think it'll be total in uh, players. I think. Uh, which sometimes can be, which can be unfair on basketball, to be honest, you don't ball it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's the case for myself. I mean, that's not, that's not in fact uh, trying to defend myself at all. I mean, I'm not really bothered whether I'm in that 14 or not, but yeah. for solid batsmen, any batsman, let alone yeah, me, of course. it when can you, happen. Yeah. Oh, what a shot! Muni Chaudhary sending it back to Dhaka. Brilliant shot. This is the aggression of the that they should have shown from goal one. This is the aggression. I mean, I've not seen this man ball before. But, you know, we haven't no. Another one, oh, very lucky, oh! Aggression, 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 yeah. aggression in the shot. Aggression after like the aggression, execution. Uh, I like aggression, I mean, you should want to win, you should want to post at the maximum total. I mean, this kid, if he's replaced... Shot! It's, oh, it's gone! It's gone! Very unlucky, very unlucky indeed. I mean, that, that deserves six all day. If this kid's got that wicket on that delivery and he's taking over uh, and money, he, he has to bat. Because if he, 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 he cannot bowl, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, no disrespect to this, this kid who's bowling now, but he's not uh, blessed. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I really feel there for Muni. Um, he really was trying to take advantage. He met that right out the middle again and uh, unlucky. Shad's come in uh, very late for myself. And it's, it's, quite, it's quite unusual to see uh, your great Kote fumble in fact. Yeah. Him and Yusuf Ali, along with Arsalan, and even Kazem Hussain has been brilliant in the, in the field this season. <coughs> yeah, there, a Just coming back to the, uh, the 14, we've uh, had the news from uh, your, your mate Benedict. Yes. Yeah, it will be the top 14 from the player rankings. Yeah, rankings yeah. <coughs> but yeah, it is a disadvantage to the people who specialise. Certain areas, so like the batsmen who don't ball, obviously um, can only get a certain amount of points. Yeah. I don't I have a whole many overs this season. Yeah, no, no, we're not saying. No, no, no. And I am in the top. Team. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You know, the thing is, I think the argu argument is not that. The, the argument here is, if you bat and ball, you have a better chance of yeah, making yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas if it's you're a batsman who are, who's had a few good innings, that's fine. You have man of matches. There's, that's there's fine. No, uh, but, but there could be right, batsmen who made about 100 runs. Four rounders have yeah, yeah. more of an opportunity. No, yeah, yeah. no. No, no, of, uh, it's going to balance with yeah, yeah, the top but you can't. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I, I think it's, it's, it's right the way it's, it's being done, but we're just saying 
for a, a specialist I'll batsman. I'll give you a prime example. Very Yusuf Ali often opens the ball in, except today. He opens the batting, and as soon as he's ball, he's there to keep wickets. So he's got every chance of picking a wicket, making runs, and taking catches. The opposite of Arsalan. Arsalan only bats. Exactly, yeah. Would you say upper, um, as a. Uh, it makes a hard opportunity. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's just a bit, in a nutshell, in a. Oh, aggression there. Same as cousin, same as cousin, he just bowls. He just bowls, yeah, so yeah. He has to exceed on, on bowling. So, batsmen who only bat have to work extra hard to make it to the top 14. Simple as that. But then again, so of course, well, the best ball, look at this. That is in cricket, really. If an all rounder doesn't perform with the bat, he's got a chance with the ball. When you're a specialist batsman and you get out, then. That's, 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 that's very true, that's very true. Oh! Teddy Bear! He's telling the crowd to be quiet. He is answering his critics and telling him to hush with his finger on his mouth and sending all the kids back to primary school here. This is cricket at his best. Fantastic shot. The do the and guess what? He's not hit Kiran Sai for six. He's hit Yusuf oh, Ali for six. Fantastic shot today. <laughs> Shahid, Shahid Muhammad having a laugh there. He can't believe it, can he? Kazim Hussain also congratulating him. End of nine overs, 42 for four. They can make they can make a decent score here. They want to get up. Of course, oh, yeah, Arsalan Khalid. They can make a decent score, but what we need to understand is uh, they need um, uh, a, a huge total yeah. for them to uh, so, so think about the knockout. Definitely. So we'll come back to uh, the point that Hamza made about himself making the runs. Uh, yeah. The thing is, let's be honest, Hamza has He's overperformed been, yeah, the Yeah, uh, Hamza was so saying, well, especially after the start he had, yeah. He's done a brilliant job. The thing is with Hamza, three dogs, that's fine. Fair the enough. Thing is with Hamza is Two uh, dogs in a row? Since since he's opened the batting for hit and run, is his hit and run's team changed. They've, they've played with flow. They, they, I mean, obviously myself, I'm, I'm not the most aggressive player, so that suits me, Hamza opening. Because uh, the aggression he shows, I don't need to go at um, a different pace than what I do. And also the balance of the team changes when Hamza opens the batting. So I think it's, the thing is, let's be honest, Hamza has been probably the star of the tournament yeah, for us, yeah, hit and run. So um, we're, we're talking about average players, average players if, if they specialise in a certain, uh, um, like myself, I specialise in just batting, it's hard for me to get into yeah, the So back to the, yeah, just a delivery, sorry about that, Mazaba, we'll carry on from where you left. Um, so it's another no ball, it's a no ball in fact this time, is it a free hit? Shahid Muhammad, Shahid Muhammad should know it's a free hit, no need to show your defensive technique here. Look at this kid, but slower than me. <laughs> Free hit. Shot, lad, that's a great shot. Oh, this lad. He's got lucky. Me, makes me look like Boom Boom, this kid. <laughs> you are Boom Boom, Mazabai. Haters, oh, are haters will hate, and haters are gonna hate. There's so always a smile on this kid's face as well. Good I mean, delivery there, in fact. These, these two uh, batsmen are on happy pills all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's good to see though. It's good I mean, to see. They're enjoying the cricket. You know, they do need... If you're talking about happy pills here, oh. they certainly need pills which will get them angry. You don't want to laugh, you want to make runs Especially and get on with it. The circumstances that are there in uh, Madhum Qatana is very... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult I mean, situation because yeah, you need to score, over, you need to score yeah, a big total. No disrespect, like you see. Uh, I mean, here... You, you'd want to target. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to target him? For some players, this is the last game of the tournament. If they're not in the top 14, this is the last game of this season, uh, BBIL. It's very emotional. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, it is indeed. Just as emotional as uh, the farewell of uh, a veteran, Mohamed Hafiz, today, who uh, leaves the Test Arena. Uh, not the right way to leave the arena. I mean, not contributing with the bat himself, but the team themselves. Made absolute shambles of the uh, test series. The thing is with Mohamed Hafiz is he's uh, been out, uh, in and out of the side with his bowling action uh, for a decade. Bad ball. There's been speculation on his bowling more than the cousins and dominoes. Yeah, definitely agree with that. Um, uh, but yeah, coming back, we do say we send uh, special oh. salutations. To Hafiz today. Yeah, most all, all respect to Mohamed Hafiz has been a fantastic. I, mean, I think uh, he'll continue to be servant for Pakistan. Definitely, I think he'll continue to be an asset in the limited overs. And uh, yeah. coming back to this game, Yograj Kote the ball, the second delivery of the over. Oh. Oh, yeah, good, call. good call, good call. Come on, Paddy, you've got to get on with it. Well back there from Kazam. 
So two runs in total. Score 51 to 4 after 10.2. 10 I mean, legal it's deliveries. Enough, it's not enough at all. I mean, give me a whack. Oh, they're being it. Oh! Really bad throw there from Kazam. Yeah, Just they, as you can see, they're appealing in this in this um, stage of the tournament. They've been watching a different game throughout the tournament. That's it, the net. That's definitely uh, your grad coming in again. Ooh, he's oh, yeah. bringing, bringing it back in. All oh, games brought it back yeah, in. I think yeah, it's, it's, it's another blunder. Just like uh, we had confusion last game, there was a free hit, a hit and run team balling, and uh, I'm just saying, very excited because the batsman was dismissed on the free hit. Um, so again, uh, it was baffling to yeah, see Hamza. Hamza not realising that a batsman cannot be out any other way apart I mean, from now. The thing is, uh, we need to understand is, in this indoor, um, it's, it's quite um, quite loud for the viewers, obviously, they wouldn't understand that when you're playing in the indoor. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Hamza was saying you were the free hit. Uh, coming back to that, it's the same thing here, in fact, it's hit the top. My point was not to point out what Hamza had done there, yeah, yeah. it was to point out the confusion, the identical confusion here, where the balls hit the top and they're still playing for a catch. Uh, if you played here enough, you'll know that you can't catch it. End of the over. That is 52 for four, and the final over coming up, and it's the last over. I mean, many batsmen would uh, would have mind facing us in the last over. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, obviously, I'm not the most aggressive, but yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oh, lovely delivery. The thing is that Arsalan is uh, he, he bowls that pace that you can go after. But that was a fantastic. I mean, I'm, yeah, definitely. It was a good ball. Um, is it the end of the innings or, or is it just going to run? Yeah, so coming back uh, to that, I don't know if you've um, seen that movie, that Indian movie, Patiala House, it's called. It's about cricket, right? And uh, the father not allowing uh, his son to play cricket for the Gore, yeah. as he says. And he tells his son to ball like this man called Lalaji, just like oh, this man yes. is, wrong footed. Look at this Lalaji, short. So Lalaji not getting it right on that occasion. I mean, we've got many comparisons so far in this league. You've compared Mazabai uh, with this comparison oh, 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 of uh, the Lagan stance. Again, here, Lalaji bowling, wrong footed. And the hop as well. Come on. Salan might. I mean, Salan's boosting his chances of uh, oh, yes. getting into that top 14, a cemented spot. Yeah. That's a good oh, shot. Oh. Good field, good field. I mean, um, just to coming back, obviously, to update the viewers, the, the next game is the huge, huge game in Morby Sixes against Hit and Run. Yes, um, definitely. It is, it is a big game. Uh, it's one of them games that you don't. Oh, that's, that's What's he doing? Oh, that's Does he want to get injured? Does he want to injure himself? I mean, last game, he sat out, out of will. Next game, he might not have a choice if he's going to carry on like this. So that's the end of the innings. It's uh, 56, I believe. I think that hit the wall, did it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm probably not updated it, but it looks like it'll be 56 for six after 12 overs. End of the innings. And, uh, we'll see you shortly for the chase.